When a tornado strikes, homeowners look for protection. Since Monday, companies that make safe rooms have answered a lot of calls, including a company in Harrisonville. Their shelter collapses down to 17 inches wide and only a few feet tall when it's not in use. Watch as we show you how it stands up to the test at the National Wind Institute at Texas Tech. What you're about to see is a two by four traveling at the same speed as inside an F5 tornado. Hit several times during intense testing. This shelter is hardly damaged, but the wood is left splintered in the shambles. This was our deepest dent, and it was only three quarters of an inch. President of Staying Home Corporation Mike Vogt and his team in Harrisonville have been working on this design since last summer. After the deadly tornado in Oklahoma, wait lists are forming for the hideaway shelter. Okay. It stands at only 17 inches deep while not in use. This one is big enough for eight adults, or we could put 15 kids in this one. And expands to 21 square feet inside. Opening it is very simple. All you do is pull down on the lever here, it only takes about three seconds, and you've moved about 1,500 pounds. And locking the door is simple too. Just pull it and then slip that over. It has to be secured to a concrete slab at least four inches deep. The anchor bolts would permanently go in there, and so once the shelter's in place, it would never move. But these shelters can also be made from a bulletproof steel that makes them safe rooms in the event of a gunman. They believe that the solution uh, for what occurred in Sandy Hook, for what occurred even down in Moore this last week, that this would have taken care of both those situations, protected the children in both cases. And the company tells us that they plan to start the production for the collapsible shelters in the next three to four weeks.